Hey, Mortgage Coach Community, Dave Savage, and I am talking to Wally Elderberry. What's up, Wally? What's up, guys? How are you? Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, no, thanks, man. You always, first of all, thanks for always being available to bring value. Um, super grateful for you, brother. Uh, so so we're, we're in a market. It's June of 2018. Uh, I'm actually at Mastermind uh, 2018 here in, in um, Las Vegas. So I meet with all kinds of loan officers, all kinds of leaders. I, I honestly don't know how many times, I, I've lost count of how many times the word price compression and just the challenges in the market with conversion and price exceptions are up. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a tough time, at least for, I don't know, how, how big a deal is it with you and your team right now? You know, it's definitely, it's definitely on the radar. But one thing we focus on being purposeful in the beginning of the process, the middle of the process, which makes the end of the process when you're ready to lock somebody in, make it a lot easier. So the top three major things that we do separately or differently in the process is we explain to the client up front about that they have, it's like 95% of the homes on the market are going to be sold within the first 24, 48 hours. And we educate them on the status of what's going on in the market and let them know that it's going to be a really, really big seller's market and they're going to be competing against cash offers. So we do the pre-underwriting process. That's the number one thing. We do the pre-underwriting process up front. So the client's already gave all the documents. We've already gone through underwriting before they find a home, not necessarily after they find a home. So that makes it just, just they, they're already so much committed. They've already signed disclosures before they find a home. So they, they're, A, we do that legwork up front, which gets them more committed to us. Number two thing that we do is, we actually reach out to the listing agent when we make an offer on a home. So when we reach, reach out to the listing agent, make an offer on a home, before we do that, we call the borrower and say, hey, I'm about to call the listing agent on your behalf. We call it the commitment call. I'm about to call the listing agent on your behalf. I'm about to promise this listing agent every single Thursday, she's gonna get a, she or he are gonna get a mortgage loan status report update from us. And also that we've already gone through underwriting, so your offer could be non-contingent on financing. And lastly, we can close in 10, 15 days if needed. Before I make all these commitments, a listing agent, do I have your 100% commitment that I am your lender? There's no other, no other reason whatsoever that you're going to go with anyone else. And I am absolutely your lender. So once we do that, again, the glue's there. If the client says for some reason, yeah, I look online lender and, and, and I might be thinking about this and such, I'm like, we handle that right away. And we definitely don't make the listening agent call. But the, the third, third and final thing we do is we bring in the buyer's agent. Buyer's agent is kind of a secret weapon throughout. And we let them know up front, hey, we saw multiple inquiries on the credit report. They're shopping different lenders or whatever the case is. And the buyer's agent wants to go with us simply because they are going to be able to have the pre-underwriting process up front where most lenders don't have that. They're going to be able to have the... Uh, the communication up front, the listing agent. Plus, we're going to call the listing agent and we're pretty persuasive over the phone to the listing agent call. So the third major thing is we get the buyer's agent involved and the buyer's agent gets us committed, gets the borrower's commitment. And we don't try to beat price with price. We try to beat price with speed. And that's why we struck our average day for closing, average day of closing is 17 days. We close very, very quickly, which sets away any possible competition you might have. Does that Love make it. sense? It makes tons of sense. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this all back to the mortgage coach lead conversion playbook um, as we wrap this up. Where where does mortgage coach come into that experience so that the borrower, you know, feels confident and clear on their options? So we don't we walk them through what the mortgage coach is and the total cost analysis at time of loan application and at time of high trust interview after they fill out application online. But we let them know that we're not going to issue the uh, mortgage edge or the total cost analysis to them until we do the pre-underwriting process up front, the TBD underwriting. So it's another motivating fact. We, we pitch the, the mortgage coach. We pitch total cost analysis. We get them really excited about all the cool features from total cost analysis and how it can benefit them. But we tell them, hey. We need to do the underwriting process up front so I, I'm crystal clear on your qualifications and I can update your mortgage edge, your total cost analysis on what you qualify for. 
So once we know that, then we provide them the mortgage edge and total cost analysis, which there is a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement once they get it. Got it. And, and, and I think that's a part I wanted to have come out. And again, I've interviewed so many top producers and some provide mortgage coach sooner in the process, some provide it later. But the one thing they all do is they've created enough education and anticipation by the time the family gets it, they're like, oh my God, you know, I got this next level analysis that, you know, they really wanted that. It was valuable. Oh. It was at <clears throat> perceived value. We, we do a great job with our realtor partners utilizing that when they're looking at houses over the weekend or looking at houses the evenings with the borrowers and having different multiple options on there and the, and the live option. So what we utilize is like the, if the buyer's agent, we touch base there, every buyer's agent we work with every single Friday and we go through a pipeline report and we let them know, hey, hey I'd love to give you options so you can so you can find homes over the weekend, but the client hasn't got his documents back yet. Do you mind if you reach out to the client and get them motivated, get us those documents back for the TBD underwrite? We utilize the buyer's agent as our secret weapon behind the scenes. Love, love that. So by the way, in the playbook, we have these three core concepts, which I'm not going to go through them right now. But by the way, I put a link below in this video. Check out the Mortgage Coach Lead Conversion Playbook. Um, three core concepts, and then there's seven strategies. And, you know, one of them that I have found that the loan officers that get the best conversion, they've educated their realtors. And when their realtors refer them, it's different. You know, I mean, loan officers that have bad conversion rates or really struggle get referred in consistent ways from their agents. Their agents aren't well-trained. Their agents aren't well-educated. I, I want to wrap this up with just a couple of minutes, but could you speak to how you educate your realtors around mortgage coach and your overall, you know, call it borrower consultation experience. I mean, biggest thing is we focus on being a coach or trainer to our real estate partners. And one of the things we do monthly classes on and we role play in a script practice on a weekly basis over the phone with our buyers agents for a good 15 minutes is how we want to be referred. How do we want to, how do we want them to share with the borrower, the total cost analysis experience that they, the team Wally experience. And, you know, when you've got that, that coaching time with the, with the buyer's agent, again, they're verbally scripted to wait, to be able to position us to be able to beat out any other cash offers. That's the first thing. Number two thing, which is really important is we let our buyer's agents know is, Hey, we see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of closings. And we're very experienced in this. Before you make the offer, Mr. or Mrs. Buyer's agent, before you make the offer to the seller or listing agent, please let us know so we can help you structure it so you can maximize your offer potential of being captured. So most of our buyer's agents will call us and or email us and say, about to make an offer on 123 Apple Street, here's the list price. We can respond back, okay, great. This client is TBD or approved already. We can do a non-contingent on financing. We can close it in 10 days or less. Um, and they help structure that. And again, I'm beating price with speed. I'm not trying to beat price with price. And you bring that speed to the table, you know, a family's, a family's going to pay an eighth of a point more to, to use me than an online lender because I've got bricks and mortar and an online lender does not. So focus on beating a beating your competition with something different than what they're what they're competing as. So Wally, let's wrap this up. By the way, if you got value from this and you're watching it in YouTube, give us a like, share it with your mortgage friends, or you're watching it in Facebook, and you have questions or comments, let us know what those are what the, what they are. You can also put those in co comments and questions in YouTube. Um, I don't want to ask you now because I know you've got to get to another meeting, but I would love to get you know, like an ideal script of how a realtor would refer you as a mortgage coach. So if you could tell your team to forward, you know, just a couple sentences around, you know, that referral, you know, we want to train realtors to refer to you as a mortgage coach. Um, if you could forward me a couple sentences, I'm going to put that down below. And I'm also going to add that to our playbook. So Wally, you've been awesome. Anything you want to say before we wrap up today's interview? No, it's just, it's just, I mean, this is, this price thing is not going to go away. And unless you want to close less, make less money and, and watch your business shrink, we've got to learn how to be different, not necessarily try to be better. So just keep that in mind. That's yeah. it. I hey. appreciate you.
Hey, appreciate you, brother. Take care. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.